hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how you can customize the login screen reset password screen forgot password screen etc for key clock uh, so let's get started i will be showing it only for one screen but the steps are more or less the same for the other screens as well so first uh, what we will have to do is uh, now if you don't know key clock key clock is used for authentication and authorization first what you can do is uh, i'll just close everything and here you can download this uh, key clock github repo from uh, you can download this key, key clock repo from github uh, we won't be uh, making any changes in this repo but this is very important to understand where exactly we need to make changes because the file names are very important you can't just write file names of your own so that's very important so i have already downloaded it what i will do is i will just open vs code and i will drag and drop uh, the key clock uh, repo which i have downloaded it from github now i want to uh, customize the login screen okay so for that you what you will have to do is because this uh, login uh, screen name might change in the future that's why i'm showing it to you guys now only so inside the main repo you will have to go to this themes folder inside that go to src and inside that go to src main resources and here you will have to select this login folder which we have okay and if you see inside this login we have lots of files so first one uh, the one which we are going to modify is login.ftl so this is the file which you uh, which gets called whenever we see a login screen from key clock similarly if you want to update the login update password screen you will have to use this particular name for login reset password you will have to use this name if you are lo using login reset otp you will have to use this name so this name is very important uh, that's that's all i have wanted to show it to you guys now we can ignore this now what i have done is that i have created a separate uh, like a project uh, just create any uh, directory like i have named it as key clock front end but you can name it whatever you feel like i am using docker because that is the most easiest way to get started with and if you see i have created this docker file i am just uh, like even i am not really good at docker so i am basically uh, taking key clock from this particular url then uh, this uh, this is our theme okay so i am copying it into key clocks theme i will show you where exactly we have created this theme so we have created inside the themes and my custom theme folder so we are telling key clock okay whatever you have inside your themes folder ignore that and use my themes uh, suppose I am only modifying login.ftl, right? I am not modifying login dash login.reset password that I am not modifying. So Keyclock is smart enough to know that okay, I will just pick up login.ftl which you have provided. And given that uh, I have not provided login reset passwords FTL file, uh, I will uh, Keyclock will just use the basic uh, UI which uh, it already has. So it is smart enough to understand that we don't have to worry about it and here you have to add this env kc theme equal to my custom theme and here again this is the uh, command for starting our key clock server i'm also using docker compose.yaml so basically here we are passing our image name uh, referencing our key clock file this is our container name and these are the uh, admin uh, username and password which we have to use uh, this is for mail hog you don't really need this uh, but i want to make a future video on mail hog as well uh, so yeah if you want you can just copy paste this for now but yeah uh, that's it from the docker side then inside your folder you will have to create a folder called themes inside that create a folder called my custom theme and i will have to create a folder called login right because if you see uh, all these files are inside this login folder of the key clock uh, main github repo that's why we have to create this login folder next inside login we have to create this login.ftl file now i have also created reset password as well but ignore that i won't be showing you guys that i mean i will show it to you if you are curious so here basically what an ftl file is it is basically a free marker template uh, language file uh, treat it as a normal html file so if you see i have just normal html syntax over here over here as well as over here if you want to import fonts uh, we can do something like this and here you can see inside the style attribute i'm using all the styles which i want okay so these are all the styles which i have i'll simply scroll through this uh, this is not much more uh, interesting part and here i have added some media queries as well 
and if you see over here i have just uh, this is normal html i'm using due class container uh, login section login content if you want to reference an image what you will have to do what i have done is that i have created a resources folder inside that i have created this img folder and inside that you can add all your images whatever you want so you will have to reference it like url dot resource path uh, so this is our resource path uh, slash img uh, slash company dot jpeg so this is resource path and not resources but here while creating it you will have to create a folder called resources okay i have given it some width and height then this is our div login form content here i have given some welcome message now this particular message is stored inside this uh, messages folder so inside messages i have created this files messages dot en dot properties messages underscore en dot properties if you want to support multiple languages you will have to create this so this is for french as well so yeah ignore this messages underscore boo dot properties i'll come back to that in a separate video i don't want to confuse you guys but um, english and french are uh, supported by default in key clock that's why i'm taking that particular example so here you can see i'm just created that and here i'm just referencing this key inside our code similarly for welcome as well i'm referencing the same code over here then i have just created one form i have taken one uh, so this is important make sure you use the same thing most probably use the same thing which classes uh, which are present inside a key clock as well i mean it's not necessary but here i have given a username of id username so here basically i have just copied it from here if you see uh, so here you can see this is the username uh, so i think this was the uh, even i am getting confused now a little so i think uh, this was the id of username as well as the name of username uh, that's why I have used the same thing uh, ID and name as username similarly for password as well ID and name of password and here is a due class form options and input type is of check mark uh, so yeah here is save password again this I have just getting it from messages underscore again dot properties this is for reset password so in case if you are interested how to navigate to the reset password screen this is the code for it and this is for uh, again submitting whatever credentials we have entered and this is for sign up i'm not really doing anything for sign up so yeah ignore this for now also the other important thing which you have to do is you will have to also create this theme dot properties inside our uh, login folder so this is very important so uh, parent equal to base import common slash key clock uh, styles you if you want you can use this particular folder i'm not really using this i'm just using inline styles then internet internationalization i have enabled as true uh, here i also want to support french so i can just add something like this uh, and here default language is en okay uh, so yeah that's it uh, then similarly i have done it for reset password as well so if you see normal html uh, these are all the in uh, inline css styles which you can use and uh, here you can see i have just created this div class container uh, here is our law uh, he forgot password uh, text you can also write this if you are not uh, no, not supporting multiple languages you, you can just normally write text like this as well just like you do in uh, html but if you are supporting localization or internationalization you should take the text from this like i have done inside login.ftl and here you can see this is our another input and this is our button okay so hopefully till here everything is clear for you uh, now uh, all we have to do is we just have to run so i will just i'm inside our uh, folder uh, project so and now all i have to run is docker compose up now this will take little bit of time uh, also one more thing is every time you do changes uh, you will see the docker you will have to delete the docker container images every time you do even a small change because i am not sure how to support hot reloading for uh, docker uh, but if you know do let me know in the comments so i will just run docker compose up again be careful like if you are once this command has finished running successfully if you are making any changes you will have to stop this docker server delete everything from your container and images and then again do docker compose up again it will take little bit of time but yeah that's how it is uh, if you know do let me know in the comments how to support hot reloading and hot restarting uh, so hopefully you are clear so all we have done is created this docker file then we created this docker compose.yaml 
then we uh, inside our folders themes my custom theme the login name folder name is important inside that we created this theme dot properties file then we have this login dot ftl file so which i have just uh, copy pasted like i have not really copy pasted but i have created it of my own uh, so once uh, the output is visible i can show it to you so if you feel free to pause the video wherever you feel like to copy some of this code so i'll simply scroll through this okay and this is where we are redirecting to our forgot password screen uh, okay then uh, this is for our i mean this is little confusing this is named as reset password but this is actually forgot password again the same thing which i have done over here as well so i have just uh, added some html and css so i'll simply scroll through this feel free to pause the video wherever you feel like and this is our code for it then i have just created this resources inside that i have this company image just so that i could show you how to use uh, this company dot jpeg file uh, inside uh, like an image file inside this html and here i have just created this properties in case if you want to support internationalization uh yeah that's it now hopefully yeah ours okay our server is still building it does take a little bit of time uh, so yeah it is little frustrating if you are making any changes so hopefully this is done okay so here you can see running the server in development mode now what i'll do is i'll just go to localhost colon 8080 i will just refresh this and by default it will show the uh, default uh, login ui so here you can see it is showing the default login ui the username and password is admin admin i'll just click on sign in now what you will have to do is uh, just go to realm settings uh, just go to login and here i will just enable this forgot password user register i mean forgot password is fine uh, that's it because user registration and remember me we haven't really changed anything and inside login theme you will have to select my custom theme just click on save okay then now if i log out here you can see this is my custom screen getting uh, uh, used and now if i just do admin admin i'm able to log in and i can also go to forgot password as well so here you can see forgot password is also available so uh, i will later on show you uh, how to immediately uh, set up email using mailhog as well using a different video but that's it for this video thank you for watching bye